Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Leo. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you are thinking about and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message for the energies of September, but I ask these readings to be timeless and give you something you need to hear when you need to hear it. For your cards, Leo, I will be using the Mystical Manga Tarot by Ran and Barbara Moore. For your person, the Fortune Telling Tarot Deck by Yoshitaka Amano. And if clarifiers are needed, the Manga Tarot by Selena Lin. So let's see what is going on for Leo. What is the heart of the matter? What is the heart of the matter? What is Leo thinking overall about this connection right now? What are some things going on in the daily life? Could be affecting the connection. What is happening in your heart space? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? How are you feeling about this person? What intentions do you have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future? for whenever you are meant to hear this message. One more card, one more card. Okay, let's get the cards for your person. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter for the person connected to or coming towards Leo right now? What is the heart of the matter? What are they thinking overall about this connection right now? What are some things going on in the daily life could be affecting the connection? What is happening in their heart space? How are they feeling? How are they feeling about their person? What intentions do they have towards this connection? What intentions do they have? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message? One more card, okay? get started. For the heart of the matter, we have the Queen of Swords. Libra energy could be significant here, but this is clarity. This is a, a very positive energy. Knowing what it is you want, knowing what it is to focus on, trusting your intuition. The Queen of Swords is an energy that uses that sword to cut away the things that don't serve, to fight for the things that do. This is having a lot of clarity. It can be realizations. It can be ideas, but it can definitely be a sense of knowing, you know, how you feel, what it is you want, and getting very clear, you know, about your next step. Um, could be dealing with a Libra. I have that strong in your chart, but let's go ahead and see. I'm kind of curious that with all this clarity and all this focus, what is going on here? What is it that you are feeling? Wow. So sure about we have the two of pentacles, which is interesting because it kind of feels like a decision. Like maybe there is a decision that you've been needing to make. Capricorn energy could be significant here um, about what to focus on, what to prioritize. And you could be getting very clear about some things and could have a lot on your mind, a lot on your plate. Uh, a lot of times two of pentacles can be finding balance, having a lot of different things going on, but you know, being able to handle it better than you even realize. So could be some important decisions step forward to make and specifically in this connection, but you could be feeling more sure than, um, than maybe you had in the past. Your person has the Queen of Cups for the heart of the matter, and this is somebody who is in their feels. It's interesting because you have the Queen of Cups showing up here in the final outcome as well. Cancer energy can be significant, strong in your chart or theirs, but the Queen of Cups is a very powerful love energy. It's intuitive. It's very psychic. It feels like, to me specifically, the person that you have on your mind, the person that you're thinking about, maybe even making some decisions about, is having a lot of feelings for you. Um, they're more open-hearted than maybe they have been in the past because the Queen of Cups is... Um, some, is somebody who's very willing to feel, but it doesn't always mean that this person has expressed these emotions because you're intuitively feeling something. Doesn't mean that maybe you've talked about it yet. And I did see a high priestess on the bottom of the deck here, which is a very quiet energy and an eight of swords in their daily life, which is somebody feeling a little stuck. So if you have been curious, if somebody has some feelings about you with that queen of cups energy and what they're feeling, that can be a lot of very strong feelings. 
um, whether or not they've talked about it, that kind of remains to be seen here, that they are very interested in you. And in a sense, it's almost like this person is hoping to be the decision you're going to make or is hoping to make a decision that is going to lead them closer to you. In your daily life, you have the strength card. So you are definitely showing up here, Leo. This is um, one of your major arcana. It is the energy of having the strength to listen to your heart, follow your heart, and take steps that you feel or know that you need to take. It could be that there's a decision and maybe it's like a decision from the heart, but you're having to use some logic around it. Could even be that you're having to make some different Difficult decisions. You know, if somebody's had feelings for you, but they haven't expressed them, they haven't stepped up, maybe you're having to be strong. Maybe you're having to, you know, take a step away from a connection if it hasn't been fulfilling or if somebody who hasn't, hasn't been open or hasn't shared with you, you know, what they're feeling. Or maybe you are having to take a step forward to express something. Let's go ahead and see. I'm kind of curious what it is that you're really needing to gather your strength around. Now, it is a daily life card, so there could be some things happening in your life, maybe some changes, decisions, or maybe just a lot on your plate, and you're finding a strength that you didn't realize that you had, but we are looking at this, um, wow, at this specific connection, and we have a Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. Um, some of you are having to have the strength to end or release something that isn't serving. This is the end of a painful cycle. This is the end of a challenging cycle. It also can be silence, miscommunication. If somebody hasn't, you know, hasn't really stepped up and hasn't, you know, communicated their feelings and maybe has left you guessing or wondering, or maybe there's even been a painful or difficult ending, um, there is something about you knowing you need to have the strength to move forward, to either take a step forward, you know, and communicate if there's been a lack of communication or maybe release something if somebody hasn't been really truly stepping up because I feel like we all, you know, deserve someone who steps up. We all deserve somebody who steps forward. And I know a lot of times in these readings, you know, it's really easy for me to see both sides of the picture and to recognize, yes, this person has feelings. Yes, they're taking their time. They're a little unsure how to step forward. But I also have to, you know, recognize that regardless of what somebody is going through, what their past is, what their nerves are, every single one of us deserves somebody who is willing to show up for us, who is willing to take that chance, who is willing to overcome the fears and the nerves and to tell us how they feel. So you could be having that realization. And this feels so specific. It's interesting because the Taurus reading was also one of those that it almost felt like a personal reading because um, because it felt so specific. And I know that not every one single one of us is dealing with the same kind of situation, you know, and um, some of you are dealing with, you know, new connections and falling for someone or some of you are dealing with somebody, you know, that it's going well with and you want to see where it's going. So not everyone is going to um, identify with a Ten of Swords situation, which is a silence, an ending, a difficult, you know, something difficult that's happened, something painful. And, um, and yet, um, the connection that I'm channeling, the energy that I'm bringing in here, it's definitely somebody having to make a choice. And this is major arcana. It's a positive choice. It's a strong choice. It is, you know, listening to your heart. It is doing what you know is best, even if it's not easy. Um, and it looks like it's dealing with a choice around something that has been difficult, something that has been painful, something that may have even ended. And in some cases, something can end before it even begins if somebody doesn't have the confidence to tell you how they feel and just leaves you guessing. So that's the kind of energy we're looking at here because this person in their daily life is the Eight of Swords. For some reason, even though they're deep in their feels over you, like there is a lot of emotion here here. Um, this person is up in their head and feels like they can't take a step. They can't make a move for some reason. And I'm kind of curious what that is. I don't know if they're stuck or if they're in a situation or they think maybe you're in a situation, um, you know, or if some of you are dealing with two different, you know, two different people, obviously it's not going to be the case for everyone, but for some, it could be, you know, somebody who's very expressive and somebody who holds, you know, somebody who holds back and you're having to make a decision 
decision. Obviously, that's not going to be the case for everyone, but this person could be worried, you know, maybe that you're interested in someone else or maybe they don't have a chance, like that kind of energy. Um, that's very specific, though. That's only one of the things I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of different energies coming in here. Let's go ahead and see. Why do we have this Eight of Swords? Why does this person feel like, wow, that's way too many cards. Let's see if we can just get one. Okay, had one jump out. Why does this person feel like they can't take a step forward? Why are they up in their head about this? Page of Swords. Somebody has feelings for you, but it's quite possible they haven't told you. Or if, you know, you the two of you had something in the past and something challenging happened and somebody pulled away and now it's almost like this person is watching from the distance, watching from the outside and they're trying to guess. They could be looking at your life. They could be looking at your social media. They could be seeing, you know, things from a distance and trying to guess what's going on with you. But I don't feel like they're coming right out and asking. And I... I feel like you deserve somebody who's going to come right out and ask, you know, what's going on? Do you have feelings for me? Are you interested? Is there an opportunity? But this person is watching from a distance on some level, keeping something secret with this page of swords and feeling like for whatever reason, maybe they think they're seeing something, but if they haven't come right out and asked you, I don't think they really know what's going on. But for some reason, they feel like they're seeing something that makes them think that they're stuck or that they don't have a chance. Um... In your heart space, you've got the judgment. And let me tell you, even though the challenge, the energies are a little challenging here, you have some beautiful major arcana that just absolutely shows that the universe, you know, is working with you, supporting you, wanting to help you and guide you towards the kind of love that you absolutely deserve, the kind of love that really steps up, the kind of love that shows up, something that's open, something that's honest, somebody who, you know, shares with you um, what it is they feel. In your heart space, you've got the judgment card. It's a turning point. It's a major arcana and it's a powerful energy of leaving the past in the past, stepping forward, creating and beginning a new life from a positive place, from an open place, from a place of understanding. These are two people willing to step before one another and express their feelings, you know, and overcome their fears. They're people that are listening to their guidance, listening to their intuition, and willing to take the steps that need to be taken, say what needs to be said to see what can happen now this can be wanting to resurrect something if there has been you know something you know something difficult or maybe there's just been quiet or miscommunication you could be wanting you know to reignite or resurrect something and see what can happen not always the case of course um but really what it is about it's about releasing the past leaving the past in the past once and for all being open honest and genuine with one another and knowing that you're being guided no matter what the situation is in a love reading or what is going on with the other person when a card like the judgment card shows up your guides divine your angels whatever you want to call it, like the good forces in the universe that are always supporting us always guiding us always working towards you know our highest good they are giving you a fresh start they are giving you your guides are guiding you to a new beginning and it's something you've wanted it's something you've been hoping for and I do feel like you know you know that um there is there is happiness for you and there's happiness in store for you your person in their heart space does want to take a step Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy could be significant. And I didn't mention Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius for this Page of Swords. Um, with this Ace of Pentacles, even though this person is overthinking, even though maybe they could be, you know, kind of watching from a distance, trying to guess or overthink what to do, they, they do want to do something. They do want to say something. They do want to take some sort of step. And, you know, with their, their feelings that they have for you, um, in their heart space, they do want to see if there's a chance. They do want to see if there's an opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. It can be somebody taking a step forward. It can be somebody making an offer. But it seems like this person has a lot of confusion about how to do that. And because I can see the cards coming up. So we'll talk about that. 
but your intentions are the chariot. Cancer energy, once again, could be significant here, but this is a, a desire to move forward, a desire to move forward from the heart, to make the choice that, you know, feels right for you, to listen to your guides, to listen to your guidance, and, um, and to move forward. For some of you, you could be thinking about moving on from something that wasn't right. For some of you, you're definitely thinking about moving towards something that you have your heart set on, something you're passionate about, something that is meaningful, for you but this is an energy of wanting to see where something can go this is an energy of um listening to your heart and taking the steps that you feel guided to take some of you towards something some of you having the strength to walk away and like i said it's different for everybody watching this so only take what resonates but your person in their intentions is a seven of cups um Scorpio energy could be significant here, but this is somebody that is feeling kind of confused, kind of scattered, kind of unsure, a little all over the place. And we'll, um, we'll pull clarifier for this one because with the Seven of Cups, it's really about the energy of kind of knowing what it is you want, but not focusing on that long enough to really make it happen. Getting pulled in a lot of different directions, easily distracted, letting your fears get the best of you at times. It can be the energy of having a lot of different options, a lot of different opportunities and not really knowing what to step forward towards, what to take a stand for. But it also can be the energy of feeling scattered and confused. And the very next card for this person is the moon. So it seems to me like this could be somebody kind of watching from the outside, having a lot of feelings for you, wanting to take a step forward with this ace of pentacles but when it comes down to it not knowing what to do what to say and maybe even spending more time dreaming and hoping and fantasizing than taking an actual step forward um i do feel like this person's going to move forward but let's see if we can get a little more clarity around this seven of cups why do we have the seven of cups for this person and their intentions why do we have the seven of cups the devil energy and the two of cups on the bottom. Okay. I know the devil energy seems intense. It can, you know, you hear all sorts of things. It can be toxic. It can be deceit, lies, lust, you know, obsession, addiction. It can be all of those things. But you have to look at the big picture when you get these cards. Um, the way that it's coming up here, because we have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck and it's clarifying the seven of cups and there is this queen of cups and this ace of pentacles here. There are a lot of positive energies around this, but there's also energies about somebody not telling you exactly what's going on and somebody who is being, you know, confused and easily distracted. Um, but you have to look at it, you know, what the context that it's in and I'm really getting obsessing. Like that's the energy that is coming through here. We have the seven of cups, which can be somebody fantasizing, somebody, somebody thinking about you, dreaming about you, hoping for an opportunity and obsessing, but I'm also getting fear. The devil energy can be when you let your fears get the best of you and, um, and you give in, you give in to your fears, you give in to your doubts, you give in to your frustrations. And with the two of cups here on the bottom of the deck, I definitely feel like this is somebody that has feelings for you. Somebody that would really like to see where it can go, um, is hoping you feel about them the way that they feel about you. But it is somebody who is letting their fears and doubts distract them and get the best of them. And it can even be somebody who feels stuck, like they can't stop thinking about you and they don't understand why like that kind of energy but it feels obsessive to me now if you are dealing with somebody who's toxic and somebody who's a player and somebody who has a lot of options and somebody who isn't taking a stand stepping up and taking you seriously then this energy is all about having the confidence to walk away and leave that in the past once and for all now if you're dealing with somebody um, oh, Capricorn energy could be significant here. And um, and that energy, that Capricorn energy is somebody who's focused, somebody who's determined. If you are dealing with the energy of somebody who is very interested in you, has a lot of feelings for you, wants to take a step forward, but is letting their fears get the best of them, sometimes you also have to take the high road and, you know, and 
and be strong enough to, you know, walk away. If somebody is letting their fears get the best of them and is spending more time obsessing and fantasizing about you than really telling you how they feel, they aren't doing you any favors, you know? So it is kind of a challenging energy. The thing is, um, there is some really positive energy here as well. So either I'm getting, you know, the energy of you dealing with, um, like a lot of different situations that I'm seeing, um, or you're dealing with somebody that is thinking about you like crazy because they've fallen for you and they weren't expecting to, and they might even think they don't have a chance, but they can't stop thinking about you. So your potential outcome is the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Wands, which is interesting because this whole thing for this person started with this Queen of Cups energy. Cancer energy specifically because um, queens are um, cardinal energy, and so it's like the first signs. But of course, we have Pisces and Scorpio as well could be significant. But it feels to me like this person who's in their feels over you, this person who is thinking about you, this person could even be like, you know, looking at your social media and all of that and worrying and doubting and thinking they don't have a chance is still wanting to take a step. And this person is showing up here in your potential outcome. It feels to me like with an offer, with, you know, expressing their feelings. We also um, have a 10 of wands and a knight of wands. The 10 of wands, Sagittarius energy could be significant. And then Leo with this knight of wands, of course, of course, Aries as um, a part of this as well, because it is fire. But, um, but with this 10 of wands for you, this is the end of a burdensome cycle. So we have the end of a painful cycle and the end of a burdensome cycle. And so I do feel like you could be wrapping up and, re, you know, finalizing some things and releasing some things that just weren't right. If someone didn't treat you right, if they didn't step up, you could be releasing some things. Um, but for some of you, this can be like an arrival. This can be the end of a burdensome cycle and actually arriving at the kind of connection, the kind of love that you know that you really deserve. So you could be releasing something to make space for somebody who really does show up. Somebody who, you know, has the feelings and isn't afraid to express them. And you could even be falling for someone. With the Knight of Wands, this is taking action. This is taking a step forward. This is communicating. This is somebody who's very passionate. This is somebody um, who is forthright. This is somebody who goes for it, hasn't necessarily thought and everything through, but this could be, you know, passionately taking a step or making a move towards towards something that you've got your heart set on as you release something that doesn't feel right. But we'll go ahead and pull some clarifiers and see what this is all about. And then we'll get into the cards, the potential outcome cards for your person. Why do we have the Queen of Cups as the potential outcome here for Leo? Why do we have the Queen of Cups? Started to jump out, but it didn't. Let's see if we can get one to jump out. Why do we have the Queen of Cups here? Why do we have the Ten of Wands? And why do we have the Knight of Wands? We have the Queen of Cups clarified with the Five of Swords. Aquarius energy could be significant, but you could be dealing with somebody that maybe has brought a lot of drama and stress into your life. Somebody that maybe has some feelings for you, but with some of these energies, hasn't stepped up, hasn't expressed their feelings, hasn't treated you the way you truly deserve, and it's caused some stress. It's caused some drama. There are feelings here, but we have the Ten of Wands clarified by the Nine of Swords. Gemini energy could be significant, but this is rather up and releasing something because there's been a lot of stress. I feel like if there has been sleepless nights, if there has been doubts, if there has been frustrations, um, you could have decided once and for all to put something in the past because look at what you have clarifying the Knight of Wands. You've got the Empress energy. Taurus and Libra could be significant here, but this is passionately taking a step forward or having somebody come towards you. Could even be a new beginning because of Empress energy because you recognize your worth and your value and this person recognizes your worth and your value. Some of you could be putting something in the past once and for all that was never quite right so that you can move 
passionately towards someone who recognizes you and treats you the way that you deserve to be treated. Some of you could just be creating some really healthy boundaries and being and you know expressing the fact that um, on some level that I have feelings for you, but I'm not going to be caught up in the stress and the doubts. I'm not going to sit here wondering and questioning. You know, I'm going to go for you know. Um, what is meaningful for me. I'm going to trust, you know, that there is somebody who is coming towards me that is right. And it could be communicating something that causes like this wake up call. And it doesn't even mean need to be direct communication, sometimes getting really clear about how you feel and what you want and communicating that to the universe and yourself shifts the energy around you entirely. And all of a sudden, you know, because you recognize your Empress energy, you recognize your worth, the person you're dealing with has like a wake up call energetically, even when nothing's been said. But some of you could have communicated something and it could cause somebody, somebody who's on your mind to step up in a big way. Um, but, um, but for some of you, there this is this is a release and a new beginning with someone who really recognizes your value so intense energies here for leo like me as a reader of course it's like i always want the the readings to be you know extremely positive and to you know look like somebody is really showing up but I have to read the cards I see and I have to be honest and with some of the energies around here um, around this reading it looks like some of you are having to make some tough choices to release something that hasn't been right to make space for someone who really knows how to show up now like I said that can shift the energies and the person that is on your mind could show up in a whole new way because of these, you know, healthy boundaries you're setting and the way that you're, you know, really owning who you are. Um, but for some of you, it's a, it's a complete new beginning. So your person's potential outcome has the moon, the six of wands and the knight of pentacles. Pisces energy could be significant here, but there is something, you know, when we get this moon energy it can be fears, it can be doubts, it can be secrets, it can be confusion, it can be somebody who isn't, you know, expressing everything that they're feeling, but we also have the six of wands, or it could even be somebody confused about how to express what they're feeling. We also have the six of wands and the knight of pentacles, which are very very positive energies. Um, the Six of Wands, Leo, Taurus for this Knight of Pentacles, if I didn't already say that. But the Six of Wands is somebody showing up after a challenge, after a difficulty, somebody wanting to be you know, successful, somebody wanting to take a chance, somebody coming forward in a really positive way. With this Knight of Pentacles, we have this slow moving energy, but it is the Knight who crosses the finish line. It is somebody who plans. It is somebody who is, you know, thoughtful, somebody who is caring, somebody who is making a decision um, to take their time, but to step up, to tell you how they feel, to show up in a way that, you know, is generous, confident, caring, stable. Like, so for some of you, if you have been releasing, you know, this toxic person or a person who is like too afraid to express their feelings, you could be attracting in someone who really does know how to show up, somebody who really does care, somebody who is taking the time to let you know how they really feel. But for some of you, somebody who has very strong feelings for you, definitely wants to take a step forward, but has been confused about how to do that, maybe let their fears get the best of them for a little bit, is finding their confidence very drawn to you and thinking about how to step forward, how to express what they feel, how to do this right, how to really treat you right, and how to come into your life to stay. So a yeah, a lot of different energies, but let's get clarifiers. And this reading has got long, and I know it's because these energies are a little complex, and I'm getting a lot of different, you know, different energies coming through. So remember, these are collective. Take what's yours. But let's go ahead and see if we can get a little more clarity. Why do we have this moon energy? Why do we have this moon energy? Why do we have the six of wands? Why do we have the six of wands? And why do we have this Knight of Pentacles? Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles? Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles here? We have the Moon card. 
clarified by the Magician and the Two of Cups. Aries energy could be significant. Gemini, Aries and Gemini with the Magician, Cancer with the Two of Cups. But this person, I was kind of asking what it is that they are confused about, what it is that they've been holding in, what it is that maybe they've been keeping to themselves. And we got the Magician and the Two of Cups. This person has feelings for you. They could even be falling in love with you. They are hoping for an opportunity. They are wanting to make something happen. With the magician, it's like they, they're they thinking about you. They have feelings for you. They want to take action and they want to manifest this new beginning here because they do. Like they do have feelings for you. But they have the six of wands clarified by the two of swords. Libra energy can be significant again here. But this is somebody with the six of wands that wants to show up, wants to come forward with the two of swords. They are they're a little bit guarded. This is somebody who is can be, you know, indecisive because it's time to listen to their heart. It's time to make that decision from a place of love. And it's somebody who's trying to be logical, trying to be smart about it. And I feel like that's what's causing them to move kind of slowly because because we have the Knight of Pentacles clarified by the Seven of Wands. Leo energy here with the Seven of Wands. But the Seven of Wands is a positive card. It is. It can be healthy boundaries. It can be somebody saying no to some things that aren't right so that they can take a stand for what is. It can be somebody who's a little guarded, but it's somebody who's seeking higher ground. Somebody who wants to fight for what they care about. Somebody who wants to fight for what they're passionate about. And it seems like, <coughs> sorry, um, it seems like what they're passionate about is you. And it feels like it's their own fears that, has, that have stood in the way of them taking these steps forward that they need to take. And I feel like this is somebody who wants to overcome their fears. This is somebody who wants to be with you. This is somebody who wants to take a step forward. And with this Knight of Pentacles, they are steadily moving towards you. And with the Seven of Wands, this is somebody I feel like who wants to make things right, who wants to do right by you, and wants to seek the high ground, wants to wants to take a stand, wants to fight for this. So that is the message that I have. I felt like I had a ton of different energies coming through. I felt like I was doing multiple personal readings. So I think I was connecting in pretty deeply with a lot of different energies. So please remember these are collective. Um, if something didn't make sense, didn't feel like yours, throw it out. That's not, you know, you don't even have to worry about it. But if something, you know, feels right, if you get excited about it, if you think that's me, if something gives you chills or makes you feel emotional, take that because that's you know how your guides communicate with you so take what's yours leave what's not and listen to your heart because it seems like no matter what the situation um this is a turning point for you with a judgment card leaving the past in the past um this is stepping forward having the strength to recognize your empress energy and having someone because you're seeing that you're seeing your worth you're seeing your value having someone recognize that worth and really step up in a big way for some of you it's a completely new person for some of you you know exactly who this is you know exactly who has been thinking about you and you know who exactly is seeking the higher ground to step forward and show up for you in the way that you deserve someone to show up so if you like the reading, please put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you would. If something spoke to you and you'd like a personal reading that's 100% focused on your story and your connection and what is happening with you, I do offer those on my website and I would love to hear from you. So it's charitygenies.com. The details are in my description box. But I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much and I will talk to you soon.